welcome back to Critterland. Well, today we have all these little costume babies that have been patiently waiting in the closet. The soft serve and the vegetable and another little uh, costume cutie pair. And we have a bunch of families here waiting to meet them and welcome them into their families. The sheep, the caramel dogs, we saw the polar bears earlier. And then we'll bring out the other families later. We've got a whole line of them ready to meet a whole bunch of costume babies. Not just these, but over here we have all of these costume babies which have already been opened. So we are going to put them with their families and that'll be really fun. It'd be really cool to see all these other critters too. I don't think I've ever had this many critters out at one time. So it's going to be quite a lot. So we are going to start with the soft serve babies. They are so cute. I've been dying to get them out of the package. We've got Justin, Emma, and Beth. So in Critterland, the stork doesn't bring the babies. Instead, if you reference the biology book of the Critterland students, they are made in a factory and then shipped to Critterland. So that's how they arrive, and uh, <laughs> there you have it. So these guys are fresh from the factory and they are ready to meet their new families. I really appreciate these beautiful plastic boxes that these uh, little limited edition figures come in. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so cute. They've got little beads in their uh, hats. They look like little sprinkles. And I'm gonna take those hats off so we can get a better look. So this is the polar bear baby. This is a girl and her name is Beth and she is sporting some yellow soft serve. I bet that's vanilla, but it could be banana. So this doesn't come off super easy. I'll show you how I take the top, the hat off of this one or the uh, mask or whatever you call it. And then the rest I'll just take off off camera. But yeah, so you gotta kind of tug at it. It's really, really pretty. Really neat design. You can see those little strings at the top where the uh, beads are sewn in. Very pretty. And here is little Beth, and she is going to go meet her polar bear family. This is what she looks like with her little dress off. No tail. Baby, The babies really don't ever have tails from what I've seen. And her family has the Adventure Sky Ride, and they are going to ride off in that. Well, she's going to actually hang back with one of the parents, but she's got her mom and dad and baby, and here's her hat. So she is one of the, like, true polar bears or original polar bears, and the rest of the family are part of the Easy Buy polar bears. And here is Emma Sheep. She is in a lovely pink little soft serve costume, and I think this is our first sheep baby. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. I love her little wool on the top and her little ears that point down. I just want to cuddle her up. And her family is so eager to meet her. They've got the stroller ready. I think that stroller really complements their outfits. Sister is so excited. Now this stroller is one of my favorites. I, I bought it. I did a little video unboxing it um, uh, from Kobe Japan. And I believe it's an original like from the 80s or 90s. It came in what looked like a vintage box, but it's in such great condition. I wonder uh, if it really is vintage, but I think it is. So she is all tuckered in. She's got her little soft serve hat on her. And then this is Justin, the little baby caramel dog. And he has got a blue soft serve. So I don't know what flavor that would be. Maybe blueberry? So it's hard to see just how cute he is with that on. So I'm gonna take it off just like the others. And he is cute. And we do have another caramel dog baby. So he will have a little baby brother or sister. And this is a boy. So, and I think that the girl, the, uh, the other baby is a sister. And there is mother. They are so fancy in their kind of German looking outfits. And then here is the older sister who works at the department store. And so we're gonna put baby in here in this carriage next to the other baby. So little Justin is excited to go home to his new family. <laughs> How cute. 
and we will get his little hat over there on the bench. Oh, and I wanted to point out really quick, I noticed that this polar bear is actually significantly darker in color than the other polar bears. So I'm going to put her right here in the middle, all snuggly, wuggly. I think this Skyride is my favorite vehicle because it's so unique and just pretty. Okay, so now we're going to bring out these costume cuties. We've got uh, the chiffon dog and a toy poodle. This box is pretty highly damaged, so that's not cool. It came from Amazon. This is a calico critter item. I get so much of this from Japan, but these costume babies were all from like regular USA Amazon. So those don't have the rubber bands. They have actual like little plastic bands that I've got to snip. So we snipped them out and now we have our little cuties ready to meet their family. This one is Milo, the toy poodle. This is a boy. And this one is Brooklyn, the chiffon dog, a girl. And I think that is such a cute name. Now these are the calico critter names. In Sylvanian families, they have other names. And here is the giant toy poodle family with the cake shop aunt, mother and father, sister, three babies. So he will have a big family to go to. And Chiffon Dog does not have a Chiffon Dog family, but the Labradors are very close that it could be feasible that they would have a Chiffon Dog. So he is going to go with their family. All right, let's start with Milo and take off his cute little birdie costume. Boy, oh boy. Now this one doesn't come all the way off. It has just like a hole that you got to kind of pull him through. So there he is. And he can't just be naked, but he doesn't want to wear this all the time. So I'm going to find another outfit. That is so soft. I love it. So I'm going to find him a little romper. And this one was extra that we have. So there he is. And it matches his little costume. So we won't forget who the costume cutie is, and he is happy to see his new mom and dad. These are just adorable. Sylvanian families, calico critters are just fantastic. Everything about them. I can't get enough. And we'll put this costume over here. All right, and now we have chiffon dog, Brooklyn chiffon doggy puppy. Now hers comes uh, all the way down, so it's a lot easier to get off. And I love that little tiny tail at the at the bottom. It's a little bunny costume. It's kind of ironic that they dress like other animals when they are animals, but hey. <laughs> Beautiful design on the chiffon dog. I can't believe we don't have this family. It's just uh, we, we just don't. And there's a little uh, nappy for her, for Brooklyn. And she's going to join her new family of Labradors. And they are going to welcome her with open arms. All so excited. And there you go. And who do we have now? We have the vegetable babies. Wow. These are also calico critters. And these are all boys. Ethan, Albert, and Henry. So we are going to bid farewell to many of these critters to make room for more.
right now we can bring in the families for the other costume cuties. We have the Marshmallow Mouse family with the itty bitty triplets. This is older sister and she has a stroller ready to go. This came I think from a, a red car. And then we have the Sweet Pea Rabbit family. They are so pretty, so simple, but so pretty. I love the color of their fur. And since they are a medical family, he brought a wheelchair because he thought that would be fun. And then we have the Beaver family, one of our newest additions, one of my favorite, uh, with the Woodbrook Beaver siblings there as well. And here they are. These are the vegetable costume cuties. So adorable. This is Ethan, Albert, and Henry. We have Henry the Sweet Pea Rabbit and Albert the Little Tomato Mouse. They could not be cuter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at those little tomatoes on the ears. That is so creative. They are so good at making these little costumes. And here's a peek at Albert under the costume. Still very cute. This is our only mouse baby, regular size baby. We of course have the whoopsies. These fell on the floor. These are so little, they'd be so easy to lose. I think I'm gonna put them back on his ears so they don't get lost. But yeah, we have a little bitty triplets there, but this is our first full size baby. So Albert Mouse has been delivered to the little mouse family. <laughs> and Daddy is so excited. Oh wait, I mean Brother is so excited. They're all excited. Because Albert is a cutie. And here we have our Sweet Pea Rabbit Henry. I love his little pepper costume so much. So cute. He's got that little hat that's kind of shaped a little woobly at the top like a real pepper and a little green stem there and some cute little buttons and there he is with it off or partially off and unfortunately the hat gave him a little crease there on the head so that's too bad because you really can't do a whole lot about that um, but I guess we'll maybe put his hat back on and just kind of keep it on it doesn't change how cute he is. I am still very much in love with him. Little Henry, and what a cute name that is. So he's gonna have a lot of fun riding in the wheelchair because kids love to ride in wheelchairs. And he is a lucky little bunny to be in this family. And mother is so happy he's here, and so is sister. And of course, so is his uncle who is pushing the wheelchair, who is a doctor. And he has a dentist and a nurse for an aunt and uncle as well. And a couple little cousin babies who are super cute. So he's going to have a lot of fun. And finally, we have our little eggplant beaver named Ethan. And that is the name of my nephew. What a gorgeous little costume. I love the little star around the button. That is such a nice little detail. And it is in two pieces, not one. So I'll take that off and give you a look. How cute is he? Now he is a Woodbrook beaver, so he will match the beaver siblings. Oh, look at that little eggplant. It is so puffy like the pumpkin costume. And so you can see he's the same as this little hiking beaver. That one is named Buckley, I believe. And this is the Waters beaver baby. The rest of the family are the Waters, and you can see the difference there in the fur color, but I think the molds are pretty much the same. Well, the ears are different. Now these are hard to uh, bend the, the joints with those types of outfits, but it can bend a little bit. And so we are going to put him in here with the little hat as his pillow. And I love how this stroller really matches his outfit. And I think purple can be a very manly color. Well, they are all with their new families. And now we're going to clear most of these out to make room for even more. Three, two, one, poof! We did not forget about all of these little costume babies and fairy tale friends that have already been opened and need to be delivered. 
We've got the koalas, the otters. Look at those little guys in the wagon. We've got the striped cat family, another new addition. And then the deer family over there. And then we have several little guys that don't have a family, but they still get to go to a home because we have this lovely bunny who will foster them all. Now here we have the fairy tale elephant baby, one of the easy buy because his ear is not pink. And then we have this little Halloween pumpkin elephant baby, which we opened recently around Halloween. And they have an older sister who is already being fostered by Mother Bunny. So that's very lucky. So they get to all stay together. And she is very happy to have them. And here is the little Buckley Deer fairy tale friend. And you can tell it's a girl because the ears have little hearts in them. And she is going with the Buckley Deer family, another one of my favorites. I say they're all my favorite. Oopsies. And this is our little koala fairy tale friend in orange. Very cute. His head is right on top of his head. I love that. And he is going to join the koala family. And this is one of our oldest families, and he'll have a brother and sister, so that's great. And we have this little costume cutie. This is a striped cat in a little cub costume, and this is a girl named Apricot. And we recently acquired the striped cat slash sandy cat family, so uh, she will have a little family to go to. But in case she doesn't want to wear the costume all the time, there's a little yellow dress that came in the baby bath set, which I did a video on a while ago, and it is so cute. I think it's supposed to be a nightgown, but I think it's a perfect little dress. So she, little apricot, will go over to her family in her gorgeous little yellow dress, which just happens to match her family really well, and matches her costume, which is just perfect. So she is happy in her new family. We'll stick that over here by sister. And next we have our little Neptune sea otter, not to be confused with the splashy sea otter, but he will definitely be part of the splashy sea otter family. The main difference between the little Neptune baby and the splashy otters are the, the face markings. He doesn't have any markings on his face, but he does have that little brown uh, nose. And his face is a little more rounded. He has a little less definition around the muzzle and his ears are a little bit different too. They're just teeny tiny. You can tell even this little tiny baby has bigger ears with some coloration around the tip of the ear and coloration on the cheek as well. So I don't really have any more extra baby outfits so I had to improvise. This is a robe from the regular bath set it's meant for like a child figure, so it looks kind of goofy on this little otter, but hey, it'll have to do. We'll find something better. And this is a girl otter. Her name is Sandy. Not to be confused with Apricot the Sandy Cat, which came in the same set, uh, but uh, we'll just pretend she's wearing a dress. And we're going to put these little fellas back in the wagon with the fluffy little costume. How cute. So we have these guys remaining and Mother Bunny is going to pick them up along with Sister Elephant who is a big help at the children's home where the little foster babies go and there's a couple little foster baby residents who are coming to say hello. So we'll get them all loaded up and then hopefully in the future they will have their own families to go to but if not they are going to love living with Mother Bunny. We'll put little cream cat on the train next to this little uh, bear, I think, that came with the Santa set. And this is a Mesa's mouse. Very lovely. So beautiful. I wish we had the Mesa's mouse family, but it's kind of a, an older one. It hasn't been out for a while, so he'll get to drive the train. And then we have the little raccoon. So cute. And then the little wildwood bunny. I think the bunny is my most favorite of the babies. And there is no space on the train, so Mother is going to load them up in her bicycle. And they are so cozy in there, and they are so excited. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.